welcome to a Dutch hobbyist. Today I will be painting a couple of M4A1 Sherman tanks from the tabletop game Flames of War. I started out with a US olive wrap primer from Vallejo. The plastic of the tanks is almost the same color so it's not really visible, but I assure you it's there. With the primer drying matte, it is a solid base color to work from. For the highlight, I mixed up Vallejo US Olive Drap and US Interior Yellow in a 5 to 1 ratio. This highlight gives the impression of the light catching the upper part of the tanks. In the starter set of Flames of War are no decals provided. So I used some that I had left from other World War II models that I built. To secure the decals, I cover all the parts that get a decal with micro set, so they will stick better to the surface. The decals on the rounded surfaces get another coat with micro sole. This makes the decal soft so it can be bent around the shape of the surface.
probably due to the age of some decals, they would not come off the transfer sheet easily. And in the process, I damaged one of the bigger ones. This will be made to look as wear and tear. To get a quick result for the small details, I use the dry brush technique. This way all the raised areas get a little bit of paint and it gives off some little streaks that can go for damaged paint. I always use a makeup brush for dry brushing, as these work the same as dry brushes, but they cost a lot less. With dry brushing, always remember to wipe off the most paint to get a subtle result. From there, build it up to the result that fits your liking. For the tracks and gun barrels, I used Vallejo Sea Grey. The spare wheels got the same color on the tire part.
tarps were painted with the color dark sand. Although most tarps would have been olive drab, this color will give a nice variation to all the green. To get some more detail on the tanks, I painted the handles of the equipment with a brown to simulate that it looks like wood. painted the glasses of the canopies blue.
The jackets of the tank crew were painted with USA flat brown. Skin, I used Vallejo Basic Skin Tone. To shade the tank crew, I gave them a coating with Citadel's Reichland Flash Shade. This is a red brownish shading paint that works for the skin and the clothing. For the weathering, I only use Tamiya's brown panel liner, as the most small details wouldn't be visible under too much weathering.
lastly, I coated everything in a matte varnish from AK. I mix it with a little bit of airbrush thinner from Vallejo and airbrush flow improver, also from Vallejo. I mixed it until it had the consistency of milk. This ensures that the airbrush won't get clogged. 